Hey, what's up? Welcome to day 23 of the 100 Days of Code video series. If you've been following along, you'll know that we are actually going through a little bit of a mini series right now. So we're on part three today, but just to catch you up to speed, part one, we built out the main UI for a photo gallery app. In part two, we added in some functionality. So you can click on an image and you can get a larger preview of that image, as well as cycle through all the rest of the images in the gallery. And for the last part, the part that you have all been waiting for, we are going to be adding a dark mode. Anyways, it's actually really, really easy to do. So let me show you exactly how it's done. Real quick, before we get started, I just wanna mention that this 100 Days of Code series is not just for me. You too can get started by going to teamtreehouse.com slash 100 days of code and finding out all about the challenge there, as well as hanging out in our discord to talk about all things design and development related to keep you on track. As always, I'll link below some helpful resources that we offer if you want to learn a bit more about HTML, CSS, and vanilla JavaScript. So now let's get into the project. As always, I'm going to speed through me building this because this isn't meant to be a tutorial style video, more so just, hey, this is what I'm doing on my current day of the challenge. But if you'd like to see exactly how I coded this, feel free to slow me down or wait till the end of this mini series for the GitHub repo associated with this full project build. All right, so I think that's it. Uh, every time I click dark mode, it changes to dark mode. So I guess we're finished, right? So our app is done. This little mini series is complete. And this basically follows along the same uh, app that we just built in the last series with React, except this is a little bit easier. Let's go over the code just a little bit. All we're doing is creating a variable for our dark mode checkbox, and then just writing a conditional statement inside of a change event. And basically we're saying if the event is checked, then add the class of dark to the body or remove it. And then the CSS, you could just see that we're setting up some basic uh, CSS variables inside of our body rule. And then when our body has a class of dark, we're basically just overriding those variables. It's really, really simple to set up a very basic color scheme or dark mode for your apps. So if you want the full code for this project, now that the mini series is complete, check down below for a link to the GitHub repo. And I will see you guys in day 24 of the 100 Days of Code video series.